This volume was acquired with the Kodak 9500 Cone Beam CT unit and is being visualized on Kodak Dental Imaging Software 3D Module version 2.0. The purpose of acquiring the volume was to better understand the relationship of the patient's third molars to the nerve canal. On the upper right, you'll see the volumetric view, and by increasing transparency, we're able to see the roots through the bone of the teeth. The upper left panel is the axial view, the lower left panel is the patient's coronal view, and the lower right panel is the sagittal view of the patient. All of these views are orthogonal, or at right angles to each other, so it allows us to visualize the intimate relationship of the third molar tooth to the nerve canal in all three dimensions. Here you can see on the lower right, we can clearly demonstrate there is some impingement of the root of the nerve on the nerve canal. Some caution must be made in extracting that tooth if it's treatment planned for extraction. We can see that there's definitely some close proximity on the coronal view and the axial view also. Going to curve slicing allows us to construct a panoramic projection. And what we're doing now is marking the nerve canal on the patient's lower right using a colored animation. We'll go ahead and make the nerve canal animated on the lower left side as well, again using a colored animation. Once the nerve canals have been clearly marked, we're better able to understand the relationship when we make a cross-sectional cut. Here you can see the cross-sectional cut would now be along the long axis of the third molar. In the lower left, as you can see as we make it larger, we can see cross-sectional cuts. The thickness of the cut is 2 millimeters. We'll do the exact same thing on the patient's lower right. We'll move the cut plane across, angle it so it's down the long axis of the third molar, and we'll enlarge those 1 by 3 format of the cut planes. That allows us to scroll slightly and observe that relationship, which in this case is very, very close. At this point, we'll go back to the orthogonal slicing, which allows us to visualize the nerve canal in the three-dimensional volume. As you can see, the nerve canal is also clearly visible in the axial, coronal, and sagittal views. That concludes the short presentation on this particular patient and how three-dimensional imaging really helps to better visualize the patient.